Well, you can probably hear the wind. I'm up here today in some pretty big country with some pretty large horned beasts. And I'm here, as you'd say, probably on my own. And the temptation to think that you're being self-reliant in a situation like this is very great. None of us is. Jesus tells a story in John's Gospel, uh, in John chapter 5, about a guy who was by a pool and he'd been 38 years, he'd been a cripple, disabled as we'd say these days. And that guy was waiting by that pool, lying there, because he hoped to get into the water when the water was stirred. It was a superstitious belief, there was nothing in the Bible to say that or that. That when he got into the water, he'd be healed. Jesus walked up to him and he said, hey, do you want to be well? That's a bit of a daft question. The guy's been lying there for donkey's years, hoping to be made well. And the man immediately turns to the Son of God, who's got the power to heal him, and he says, yeah, well, I just can't get in the water whenever it's stirred. I, I, I've got nobody to help me, and I can't get in. And Jesus said, pick up your mat. The guy got up, picked up, walked. Now, that's great. But the mistake the guy had been making was that he was relying on his own resources instead of relying on God and God's resources. And that's a terrible mistake to make. So I'm up here on my own and you just saw those cattle take off over there. They've got horns on the front, did you notice? They took off and shot past me. Somebody knows where I am. Somebody knows my situation up here, what I've got with me, when I should be back. Somebody knows. But having said that, what a mistake even to be relying on that. This guy in John's Gospel was relying on what he could manage, getting some help from somebody, what was within his own resources, so he thought. Guys, we can't live like that. We're made to be living on the resources that God provides and the care that he gives us. Listening for his command, get up and walk. And then taking his strength to walk in his ways. Hey, it's been a great Sunday up here on this hill. I hope you have a good one too. And remember, John's Gospel guy by a pool. Who are you relying on? God is reliable.